Hi everybody, my name is Mahayla Watts and I am the ILCOR member at EKU's Division of Natural Areas and today I'm going to be reading a book about microbes which are super tiny living things that we can't see with our eyes and so the book is called Tiny Creatures the World of Microbes so let's get started Tiny Creatures the World of Microbes by Nicola Davies, illustrated by Emily Sutton. You know about big animals, and you know about small animals. But do you know that there are creatures so tiny that millions could fit on this ant antenna? So tiny that we'd have to make the ant antenna as big as a whale to show them to you. They don't have eyes, heads, or legs, branches, roots, or leaves, because they aren't animals or plants, but they are alive. They are called microbes, and there are lots of them. A single drop of seawater can hold 20 million microbes. That's about the same as the number of people in New York State. A teaspoon of soil can have as many as a billion microbes. That's about the same as the number of people in the whole of India. Microbes live everywhere. In the sea, on land, in the soil, and in the air. They live in places where nothing else does, like in volcanoes or inside rocks or at the back of your fridge. They also live on the outside and inside of plants and animals. Right now, there are more microbes living on your skin than there are people on Earth. And there are 10 or even 100 times as many as that in your stomach. Don't worry. Although some microbes make you sick, the ones that live in you and on you all the same help you keep you well. Even though they are too small to see, they are not all the same. There are lots of different kinds, more than there are different kinds of animals and plants. Some are tinier than others, as different in size as ants and whales. Poliovirus, one of the smallest microbes. Paramecium, 2,000 times bigger than the poliovirus. Some microbes are round, some are skinny, some look like shells, some are squishy. Some have wiggly tails, some look like daisies, some look like spaceships, some look like necklaces. Microbes can eat anything, plants, animals, alive or dead, even oil and rocks. They're too small to have mouths, so they just soak up what they need through their skin. That's why the things microbes eat don't disappear in bites. They change, slowly, into something else. Food, into compost. Milk, into yogurt. Rocks, into soil. And when microbes are well fed, they are really, really good at making more microbes. They simply split so that where there was one, 20 minutes later, there are two, and then four, and then eight, and then 16. Starting with just one microbe of a type called E. coli, which of course would be far too small for you to see, it would take 11 and a half hours for there to be enough E. coli to fill this space and 20 minutes later they would all split and double to fill this space. That's why it only takes a few of the wrong kind of microbes, the kind we all call germs, to get into your body to make you sick. Mosquito. They get in through your mouth or through a cut, or sometimes through an insect bite. Then, inside you, where they are warm and well fed, they split and split and split 
until just a few germs have turned into the thousands, even millions. They're still tiny, but there are enough of them to make you sick. So it's best to stop them from getting in. Luckily, only a few kinds of microbes can make humans sick. Most microbes are busy doing other things. And because microbes are so good at making more microbes, some of the things they do are very, very big. They can wear down mountains and build up cliffs. They can stain the Red Sea, turn the sky cloudy, and make snowflakes grow. They recycle everything that dies to make soil so that new life can sprout. And they help to make our air good to breathe. All over the earth, all the time, tiny microbes are eating and eating and splitting and splitting, changing one thing into another. They are the invisible transformers of the world. The tiniest lives doing some of the biggest jobs. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the book. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.